Hello and welcome back to Bright Light. For today's video, we'll talk about the different signs that can tell that you are a real ISTJ. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can join a community where learning about psychology is welcomed and encouraged. You can also click the notification bell so that we can notify you whenever we post new videos online. Now that we've got that covered, let's get straight to the video. One of the 16 personality types found on the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator MBTI, is represented by the four-letter code ISTJ, which stands for Introversion, Sensing, Thinking, and Judgment. ISTJ personality types are typically restrained, pragmatic, and quiet. In all spheres of their lives, at home, at work, with their families, and in their projects, they value order and organization. ISTJs place a high importance on tradition and loyalty in both themselves and others. Despite their reputation for being direct, they are also regarded as being kind, devoted, and responsible. Here are some of the signs that you are a real ISTJ. You speak quite plainly. The ISTJ Myers-Briggs personality is characterized as being direct and uncompromising. They have a low threshold for a relevant discussion and demand that people grasp their choices immediately. Once they've decided on a theory to believe, it's almost impossible for them to change their minds. These people are forthright in their approach and frequently feel uneasy around suggestions or on certain paths. You detest being indecisive. Indecision is another trait that the ISTJ finds difficult to tolerate. A person can quickly irritate an ISTJ if they're unclear of the appropriate course of action despite the data being presented. People with this personality type frequently assume that others will share their commitment to accuracy and ability to make their well-informed decisions. Additionally, ISTJ personalities dislike excessive hesitation because it can prevent them from completing their tasks on schedule. To you, time is equivalent to money. Spending their time with pointless debates is another way to annoy those with the ISTJ MBTI personality type. If it keeps them from achieving their objectives, this is especially true. An ISTJ may become quickly upset and occasionally disdainful over this behavior. Being objective and fact-based, they prefer to move as quickly as possible with proven techniques rather than spending too much time considering alternative options. You rely on the truth. The ISTJ personality type prefers to use evidence rather than assumptions when making decisions. To support their views, they like to evaluate events and their immediate environment. They find this method to be much more believable than making generalized statements. One indication that you could have the ISTJ personality is that you are a fact-minded individual. You don't like it when others illogically challenge your decisions. When someone questions their decisions, ISTJ Myers-Briggs personality types frequently feel uneasy. They worked really hard to make the best decision which led to this situation. They usually find it upsetting when someone doubts their findings without facts after thoroughly researching theories and facts. However, they can become impatient when their opinions are challenged by unrealistic theories or ambiguous alternatives. You guide your future with your past. You believe that it is your moral responsibility to learn from every event, whether it be a success or a failure, as you travel through life. When a crisis occurs or a solution is required for an issue, you accumulate these experiences and draw upon them. However, if you're in a bad stage of life, you might become dependent on bad habits from the past because you enjoy the thrill or comfort they provide and want to repeat them despite the negative effects. You can clearly recall the specifics and details of previous experiences. It's a talent of yours to recall minute particulars and past experiences. This makes adjustments and shifts easy to notice. You might be the first one to notice that the furniture has been moved into a room, for instance, if you walk into it. Another sign that something isn't right is if someone's body language deviates from their usual demeanor. You long for a sense of regularity you detest unpredictable events, therefore you make an effort to plan your day out clearly. Usually, you have a schedule that lets you know what to expect when, as well as a daily flow. You feel at ease and have the flexibility to think clearly when you have a sense of routine and stability. You take pleasure in reliving your favorite moments. 
Everyone likes to look back occasionally, but you seem to have a particular fondness for it. When you close your eyes and think about a previous experience, it feels as though you are actually there. Rich visuals and exquisite detail bring the past to life. You post-process experiences so you can fully enjoy them. When you're doing anything new, you often feel a little removed from it because you assume that fully experiencing the gravity of the present moment would be overpowering. However, after the experience is over, you frequently replay it in your head, appreciating its beauty more so after the fact than when it was happening. You punish yourself for past errors. You have a propensity to replay awkward or embarrassing situations in your brain because you want to learn from your mistakes constantly and because you tend to post-process experiences. It's possible to feel as though the guilt and aggravation of mistakes done 10 or 20 years ago are still there as you lay in bed at night beating yourself up over them. You try to be calm and collected. You typically get annoyed by loud, outspoken, and overactive persons. People who can remain composed and in control despite difficulties are deserving of respect. In whatever circumstance that arises, you make an effort to project professionalism and composure. Love is demonstrated by assistance. The personality frequently experiences difficulties in communicating their emotions. When they must express their passion for the ones they love, it's challenging for them. As a result, support people when they need it instead of using flowery language and making great gestures. You can continue to put in a lot of effort to make things simple and efficient for them. You do not lack feeling, rather, you simply express it in a different way. You possess self-sufficiency. The personality considers being overly independent to be a sign of weakness. You think you can succeed on your own as a result. You place a high value on both freedom and autonomy. Instead of relying on others, you'll make your own way. You also understand how you want to go about doing things and how to do them correctly. You think that it's important to maintain your independence and minimize your reliance on others because of this. You're not touchy-feely on the inside. You are not the main source of emotional support for your friends and family. When anything has personality, it is rational and useful. Additionally, you lack the sentimental side that prevents you from empathizing, but you do have useful advice that can assist in resolving the problems rather than expressing sympathy. Those are just some of the traits an ISTJ usually has. If you can relate to the majority of these traits, then you must really be an ISTJ. If you want to learn more about the MBTI personality types, here's a separate video on INTJs and ENTJs. Click the next video as seen on screen to see our video on compare and contrast, the difference of INTJ versus ENTJ. That ends our video for today. We hope you've learned a thing or two. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment on the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, suggestions, and reactions. If you want similar videos, do not forget to subscribe to us and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. Until next time, bye!